Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to take an example and show you how to do it. Let's see the example. Example number two. In this example, you have three contacts C1, C2, C3, and three coils Q1, Q2, Q3. Initially, all of the contacts and coils will be off. Now we put contact C1 and C2 on. By that, coil Q1, Q2 will be on or will go on. After contact C2 and C3 is on, coil Q2 will go off and coil Q3 will go on. Now let's start making the layer diagram. First, I will create a new project. For that, I will create a new folder and I will name the folder as LD first. Or we could simply write example second and I will select the folder. Prog first or program first and language as letter diagram. Now I will enter OK. After that, we already know that we have three contacts and three coils. I will start making the contact C1 and type it as sorry. I will write the name again as C1 and type as boolean thereafter i will add the variable again up to four then i will edit the fourth one as coil first then i will add the variable up to coil three now i will start with the letter diagram let me just drag this a little bit up after that i will create two coils Sorry, I will create two power rails. One on the left side and the other one on the right hand side. Now I will align them. I will create three contacts and three coils. I will adjust the block size and copy and paste to contact. After then, I will edit them as C2 and C3. Then I will add three coils q1 and i will adjust the size after that i will copy and paste it and edit the coil second as q2 and third as 3 q3 Now we know this much that we have three contacts and we have three coils. Now let's see again the example but in the boolean form. Now we know that when C1 and C2 which means that I have to put the C1 and C2 in series with the coil and Q1 and Q2 in parallel. Now I will simulate it. Now after the simulation is completed I will click on the deeper glasses. Thereafter I will show you the coil first and second also I will show you 
the input c1 and c2 now if i modify c1 and c2 to true as you can see q1 and q2 will go true which was the second part of our question now let's see the last part which is when c2 and c3 will be one c2 will be off and q3 will go on now we'll add another c2 then after i will put c2 and c3 in series now we know the second part of our question which was when c1 and c2 both of them are true q1 and q2 will go on and our last part of the question is when c2 and c3 will go on q2 will go off and q3 will go on now i will copy the c3 and paste it here then after i will double click on the c3 and i will modify it as normally close contact after that i will put it in series with the coil q2 now i will start the simulation the simulation is completed and let me show you the coils and the contacts on the right side these are our three coils and now I will add the three contacts now you can see that when all of the contacts are false the qualities are false which was the first part of our question now the second part which was when I modify C1 and C2 to true both coil Q1 and Q2 will go on and the last part was when C2 and C3 will be modified to true Q3 will go on but the Q2 will go false this concludes our video here thank you for watching